Hey guys, welcome back. So today in this video, we're gonna talk about a new book by Tim Grover. Yes, I'm going to talk about this one new book by Tim Grover that is winning. I've just received this book and I've unpacked this and I've just started to read through some of the pages and I've just like started over here uh, with uh, just few pages and I want to just give you an overall synopsis about this book to you. So first of all thing this book is a continuation to the book that is relentless written by Tim Grover before this. So this one book is a mere master to mental dominance. So if you want to dominate your mind and if you want to get that one single formula based upon which all the elite performers and the successful people have that mindset based upon. So this is the one book that I really recommend to you to read it. So if I give you a simple overview about who Tim Grover is. So Tim Grover is the coach and personal trainer of Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, Charles Barkley, Dwayne Wade and many other elite performers and champions in basketball as well as different games. So this is who Tim Grover is and the one thing into the relentless that he talks about is that the winners never stop at just one win. They just go on and on and on and on. So that's their mental dominance. That's their philosophy. They don't want to stop at just one single win. They want to just go on and on because for them winning just one time is never enough. And they believe in this philosophy that enough is never enough. It's just like the horizon of the ocean. You might be standing near the sea and you might be looking out to the horizon. You might be seeing that, okay, the ocean is coming to an end at that little point. When you reach there, you see that, oh, it's something more. You go ahead. And when you reach there, you see that, oh, it's not the end over here. There's something more. So that's the same philosophy that these elite performers like Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant use them. So for them, winning just one time is not enough. They just want to go on and on and on. And getting more further to that, Tim Grover came up with this book. That's one another masterpiece by him. And by the way, the one thing that I really like about his, his books is that this book and this book these both books have zero crap inside them yes zero crap there's nothing of nonsense over here you won't find even a word that's not written for any purpose so everything that's written inside this book has a meaning to that every word could be breaking down or broken down to and sense a meaning and when I was trying to take up the notes in this book and even the last book. So the funny thing was that I usually underline and highlight the best lines and the best things out of the book. But the funny fact over here is that when I was trying to read this book, it was just like that I could underline each and every line in this book and I could not miss even a line. So that's the beauty of writing by Tim Grover. And by the way, he's not a professional author or a writer. He's a person who is a physical trainer. So now let me get down to this book. So when I just started to read this book, there was something that I read in this book and that I would like to share with you. So at the very initial pages, he wrote on page number six, you can't find a map to the top. If you would, everyone would be there. They are not. The steps to winning are infinite and constantly shifting. One minute you see a step in your front, the next moment it's quicksand. Most people don't see that step disappear until it's too late. They get sucked into the quicksand and give up. Winning doesn't care if you can walk up to the steps, anyone can do that. So he's trying to mean that like most people say that there are 10 steps to success. Here's my 10 steps to success. Take this formula and you can make it to the success. 
This man says, no, that's completely BS. There are infinite steps to success. So you must try to understand this one philosophy that what he's trying to say that. So he says that when it was asked to Kobe that what is winning? So Kobe Bryant just said that winning is everything. Winning is everything. And that's one mental thing, dominance that all the elite performers, including Kobe Bryant, Michael Jordan, and these all elite performers had. So being the trainer of the most elite performers into the basketball, this man comes up with the final part of the truth. Like why, why do these people have even chose to get a mentorship and a training from Tim Grover? And Tim Grover breaks down everything about winning. He just says that there are 13 rules over here inside this book. And inside this book, he says that like there is nothing number one number two and number three but every thing is over here that you get in the winning 13 list isn't everything is number one so he says that there are a few for you winning makes you different and different scares people and that's something that the elite performers are never scared of they want to be different they want to be different and then they, they're never scared of it so usually we all try to fit into the box okay yes i like i dress this way okay so i'm going to the party i must be dressing that way otherwise what those other people would say about me okay i'm being a little bit different so uh, i i cannot be like that over there i have to dress something different something uh, so that i can match up to the other people so we are constantly trying to judge ourselves to fit into the box of the other people's opinion so that's one thing that he's trying to say that different scares people but winners are different the next thing that he comes up with is winning never lies so winning never lies it's just like results never lie results never lie you're an elite performer oh you're an champion so where did you win oh you don't have any records how can i trust you man that you are an elite performer you're a champion so winning that moment of winning it never lies it never lies and the next thing over here is winning is everything winning is everything you winning is everything by that he's trying to mean that whatever you have worked upon whatever you have spent on that whatever would have been that hard times but once you win you get that feeling of euphoria inside of you that's just amazing that's just amazing and that's what this man is trying to convey and there's by the way there's one interview of tim grover with patrick with david on valutainment and inside that interview there was a question asked to him that if winning feels so great why do most people don't subscribe to winning and the answer we got from Tim Grow is really very interesting out over here. And I would like to share this with you. Why don't most people subscribe to wanting to find out what their capacity looks like and go at the highest level? They enjoy the story, but why don't they want to commit to it? Because they rather participate. Why they, don't? They want, to, they want to just partic they want to participate in somebody else's win. Because that's where their euphoria comes from. Because they want to see what, they know what winning feels like. But what it takes to go down that unforgiving race to winning, they don't want to do. Because it's just too hard. So they rather stay in the middle. They rather stay, because that's where majority of the comfort is. It's in the middle. So he said that, he said that winning is everything, but most people don't subscribe to it because it's too hard. It's too hard. They just don't want to get into the practice of winning. They just don't want to get in that process. So everyone wants to win, but they don't subscribe because they don't want to get into the process. For example, everyone would like to be and champion but they don't want to get into all those tough workouts and regime that these champions take so that's the reason everyone doesn't subscribe to that but 
for those who just want to win they are ready to take in and off each and everything and maybe it can be just anything so they are just ready to take in each and everything like whatever it comes whatever it comes they are just ready to take that in and there's one thing that's written over here inside this book that he there's an experience that he shared about Kobe Bryant so he said that when like when you say it, it to Kobe Bryant that you cannot do that thing so Kobe would get more excited about doing that you say Kobe that you cannot do that you cannot do this thing so this can't this can't be done and the more you told him it couldn't be done the more he wanted to do it he had to know why when how much how long every detail mattered to him he couldn't just get a bike ride he couldn't just so he couldn't just accept that okay it cannot be done it can be done according to him he just wanted to do it and the more you said to him that you cannot do it and the more he was excited and pumped up to do that one thing so that's one little advice and i can say this book is really incredible by the way i would be reading this book completely and sharing my complete review on this book this is just an initial review of this book i've just received this book and i was so very excited to read this book because i have prior read the book relentless that is by far one of the best books that i have ever read in my life and even i rank this book around add to the number six in the top 10 books that you must be reading so now there comes a second part to this that is wedding and i would be reading this completely and sharing the review very soon with you so that's it for the day have a good day and a great day and keep reading meet you to the next episode till then goodbye